right, coming up on this week's Matt Chat, Bird Scooters. What is going on with all these haters? A huge week in US politics, boring, but historical. Kelly Clarkson drops a huge track. And it's time to meet my Series 11 celebrity. Are you ready for it? All right, you guys, another incredible week. We're just going into week two here at Dancing on Ice, but I get to meet my celebrity. I am on the train to where? I'm not gonna tell you because it'll give it away. Here we go. Um, so I'm in Essex. I got the GC. I got GC. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna be skating with Gemma freaking Collins. Collins. I gotta say, our training sessions, uh, all we do is laugh. And we do skate. She can skate. But it's really early days. We've got a lot of work to do, and she seems super keen. So I'm excited. Okay, it's time to get real. What is going on with all these haters? Yes, I tweeted this out earlier this week, and thank you to OK Magazine for picking it up, because we need to talk about this. Who are you that you can sit at home and just bash people? You don't know these people that you're saying all this stuff to. I mean, at the end of the day, we're all human beings, right? We get one chance at this life. We have one chance on this planet. Praise them. Why spread hate? If you have that much hate in your life, man, you have got to go get help, please. Go talk to somebody. You can't feel good about yourself. And there are plenty of people out there who will talk to you, who will help you through whatever you're going through. Believe me, I've got a therapist and there is nothing wrong with going to therapy. There is nothing wrong with seeking help. But you know what? Let's try and keep our nasty comments to ourselves. If you think them, that doesn't mean you need to tweet them. Now, as you guys know, I'm an American, right? All right, well, I'm not gonna get boring, but uh, it was a huge week for US politics. It is the midterms. We had a historical turnout, thanks to the lack of the job that Donald Trump is doing. However, I just wanna highlight a couple of the newly elected officials that have made it into government. This is incredible. First openly gay governor, first two Muslim women, and the first African American woman elected to Congress. The first Native American woman and the first openly LGBTQ person. And at 29, the youngest woman ever elected. So it looks like we finally have some diversity in our government. Fingers crossed, the change is coming, people. The change is coming. And as you can imagine, I do have to work out for what I do. I'm a professional athlete. Well, this week, I tried F45 Fitness out here in Stratford, and I kind of fell in love with it. It ain't easy, but it's amazing. I have just finished an F45 training session over here in Stratford. There's the Olympic Stadium behind me. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Zara. The pipeline workout today was 45 minutes nonstop of insanity. Amazing. But I'm walking like a cowboy. Just got off his horse. It's 45 minutes of intense training. And if you don't have a lot of time to spend in the gym like myself, go take a high intense course somewhere. F45 is awesome. Now, have you guys tried those bird scooters? Those scooters that you might see around town, app-based, you just basically log into the app and jump on the scooter. Well, here's my review. <laughs> so I thought I would give um, good old bird scooters a try today. First experience, one out of 10. The thing quit working after about five seconds I was on it, literally. So I'm back on my feet, <laughs> probably best. I must say though, it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I was zipping around the Olympic Park, but uh, wasn't meant to be. Maybe next time. Needless to say, I'm gonna give it another try, but it wasn't a great first experience. And Kelly Clarkson, yes, the KC dropped a huge track. That's right, what they are doing, The Greatest Showman is re-releasing The Greatest Showman Reimagined. And if you love the first album, this is going to be even better. And we had a really fun night. We went to go see Brian McFadden's gig at Boysdale in Canary Wharf. A bunch of us pros went out there and a surprise guest. Oh 
How cool was that? It's so cool to be able to work on Dancing on Ice where you get to meet these people who are at the top of their game, who are so talented. Outside of learning how to ice skate, they have their original careers. And to be able to hang out and go see these gigs is just, yeah, it's, it's really freaking cool. And last but not least, California is on fire. My home state, the fires are actually only about 10 miles from where I live in Los Angeles. So I just ask if everybody could uh, just say a little prayer for California. All right, thank you guys. You know what to do, like, subscribe, share, tweet, Instagram, Facebookers, do your thing. It's gonna be another great week and I shall see you guys back here next week.